I've had a fair few amount of emails recently about wood burning stoves. And yes, we talked about this a long time ago now on the live streams that I offer on my channel, talking about this ban, which is literally around the corner, okay? So um, let's get into it. There also is a link below this video to show you a map of where these areas are, okay? So look into that area and see where you fall into. You can zoom in and find out, okay? Very, very useful about of, um, information on that map. So let me just go into it right now. So up to a 300 pound fine will be imposed in what's called smoke-free zones, okay? Now, apparently tests have been um, concluded and what they are looking at now is you will not be allowed or you won't be able to burn or produce three grams of smoke per hour from your wood burning device via your chimney, I presume, okay? Now, recently, this used to be five grams um, per hour, okay? So, yes, I know, they really are tightening the screws on this amazing piece of age-old technology, okay? It's, we love it, I mean, Another thing as well, which is um, being pushed on media, which is simply is not the case, okay? Um, some of you guys uh, might recall that um, I used to live down south in the UK, in England, and my son was diagnosed an asthmatic from a very early age. We lived in a heavily um, polluted environment, okay? We used gas central heating, all of that sort of stuff. And he was constantly wheezing. He had to go um, use the old um, asthma pumps and inhalers. And when things went really, really bad, he had to go to hospital and he was put on nebulizers. Some of you guys who have kids who are asthmatic will know exactly the trauma which comes with that, it's not nice. And let me tell you this, completely honest, all right? We have lived there over a year now, and my son no longer needs an asthma pump. He has not been to hospital once, and all along, we've been using the wood burner. So if you start to see stuff like this on the mainstream, it really is not true. It's fear porn, it's scare tactics by the mainstream media. There is scientists who are um, from Imperial College of London, they have been on Sky News recently saying how bad they are. But let me tell you this, like I said on the recent live stream about the 15 minute cities, look into the funding. You know the term which came out in 2020, trust the science? Well, it should be do not trust the science because all mainstream science rely on funding. Universities, departments, laboratories, they are all surviving with funding and look into the companies who are funding those scientists okay so like i say follow the money and you will be surprised to see who is funding all of these scientists which are now claiming that wood burners are really really bad for pollution like i say the key line which all of this bs is coming from is about climate so let that sink in so we're looking at DEFRA, okay, here in the UK. Now they are saying that first time offenders could face up to 300 pounds in fines, okay? Now they're trying to enforce pollution control in smoke controlled areas. That is what the official term um, has come out from the government office, okay? Now, um, latest data suggests that 1.5 million people use open fires or wood burners or multi-fuel stoves similar to the one you see here next to me, okay? Now, I think it's the um, the health organization, the World Health Organization, all right? They are saying there's this brand new thing that's just been put out everywhere now, and you're looking at PM 2.5. Now, who has heard of that before, okay? So apparently the emissions which come from that um, particular PM 2.5, um, is coming from all of our homes which are using this and industry who are using big coal fire power stations, okay? So they're trying to sort of fudge it together and blaming people like myself and many, many others all over the UK about how dangerous and how bad it is for the environment should you use a wood burner. Now, it's all common sense, okay? If you do the best that you can to ensure that you burn wood, which is under... 20% moisture content, 
You make sure that your wood burner is cleaned once or even twice a year if you feel you need to, and it gets inspected and checked, okay? Once that's done, you're absolutely fine and it produces very, very little. In fact, when we come down in the morning, it's just a fine, very, very fine level of ash, okay? So it burns everything. It uses all of the energy within that wood to burn it very, very efficiently. Furthermore, if you do have a stove like this, I suggest every now and again that you check the, um, the fire rope seals, okay? If it's a nice airtight seal, it's gonna work amazing. If you've got some of the rope that's falling apart, do yourself a big favor, remove that rope, give it a good clean, put some of that special um, cement in there, which is designed for high temperatures, some brand new rope, measured at the right thickness, and ensure that that is sealed. And once that's the case, and your chimney has been swept, and everything has been checked over, there is absolutely zero concerns that you should have, okay? So we read on, okay? Um, also they're saying wet firewood is to be banned from sale. Now think about it, okay? Whether you buy your firewood and it's really dry or really, really wet, it's common sense. All you do is you dry that firewood. Once the firewood is dried out, it's good to go. It's absolutely fine, okay? So what we're gonna do now is move on to this, now this is um, important as well. Now you need to look into this, and if I find the link, I'll put this below this video right now, okay? You need to apply for an exempt appliance um, certificate, okay? So once you've got that, then you know you shouldn't really have people come around to test the air quality coming from your chimney, which I believe they're doing now in towns and cities all over the UK. Like I say, if you need to speak to me about this or let me know so I can let you guys know, please email me with your story and the email address is below this video, okay? So what they are saying, if you um, haven't got that, you need to make sure that you use anthracite, gas, um, low volatile steam coal. That is what they are saying, okay? Um, you could face a fine of up to 1,000 pound should you burn unauthorized fuel without an exempt license? Can you see where this is going? It's yet more control. It's more taking money from people, okay? So you can see where this is gonna go. I think people have absolutely had enough of all of this BS control stemming from central government, okay? Now, the UK energy fuel cap is going up again in April, like I discussed ages ago on the live streams it's only a few months away or less okay that that is going to be going up so even more people are going to be looking into getting a wood burner installed in their home and i can also tell you from personal experience the people that i see locally to get some really good quality dry firewood they have never been so busy in fact the place where we go to on a regular basis now they have sold six times more this winter than they have in any other winter since they've been operational 20 years ago. So there is a trend, people have had enough paying these stupid electric and gas prices, they are now opting to get wood burners instead. So there's a massive run on firewood and coal prices have gone up too. Like I've mentioned in live streams, it used to be 13 pound for a 25 kilo bag of low smoke coal. It is now, well, I don't know about now, but two months ago, it was 25 pound, so one pound a kilo, and I suspect it's gone above that now. Like I say, if you've got anything that you are seeing firsthand, please send me an email below, and we can see if we can do a tie-up video based on the, um, the stuff, the feedback that comes back from what you're watching now, okay? And also, this was quite crazy, there was an online poll on one of the mainstream newspapers and they put this poll out. And basically what they said, they were asking people if they agreed to pay fines, should they break the rules? A horrible terminology, breaking the rules. And funny enough, 78% of everyone in that poll voted against it. Just like I've been saying about the 15 minute cities in a recent live stream that I've done, the majority of people are very, very unhappy with it, okay? So do what you feel you need to if you've got the time. Freedom of information request to local government 
And if that doesn't work, go straight to central government, okay? The more people that start bombarding local governments with, I've had enough of this because blah, 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 and getting some figures and things like that, the more chance we have got of living a free life, which we are all deserved to do. And it's BS that these things are literally making it a health hazard, especially for young children, okay? So like I say, Please feel free to leave a comment under this video if you have any feelings about what I've just talked about. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already for more updates, especially of what's going on with these wood burners because I know plenty of people that are, have literally fallen in love with them and once used correctly, they are very efficient and very good. We use a back boiler system here which heats the whole home via radiators and a water pump. Seriously, seriously worth looking into. And if you can find really good quality dry firewood for low price or even free, it's a no-brainer. You will save yourself an absolute fortune. So thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and stay funky.